July was a pretty solid month. Zenless Zone Zero launched and was arguably the only real big release in the last few weeks outside of WUWA's 1.1 update. August looks like it might be a little better though with new releases, new pre-registrations, test phases, and more to lose yourself in. Hey, my name is Six and welcome back to another episode of Gotcha Games releasing in X month, a video series I do every single month where I take the time to make you guys aware of everything releasing in the coming 30 days in an effort to make sure you don't miss out on anything. If you enjoy this series, if you enjoy the videos I do on this channel, take a moment, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification. That way you're made up to date with every single thing that I post and I post daily. Do not miss out. If you're curious what came out last month or at any point during the year, then check out any video in this series. Now I have a lot to talk about, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. I'm gonna start this off with El Paso, which just launched in China. This was a game that I didn't include last month since they hadn't confirmed a release date yet. Thus, I feel warranted to include it here. It seems to be somewhat of an idle RPG, at least in terms of combat. You deploy your units, they engage enemy units. There's a degree of choice in terms of where you want to move outside of combat, but otherwise it's a pretty simple game. I don't know anybody that has covered this game outside of China, so it's difficult to really ascertain what this game has to offer. Sort of Convalaria isn't technically releasing in August either, rather it's gonna be fully playable as of July 31st everywhere around the world. It releases a little earlier on specific platforms and regions, but the 31st will have a fully functional and playable version of the game across every single platform and region. This is a beautiful neo-pixel art grid-based RPG featuring a rich narrative, a, an interactive battlefield allowing you to engage with cliffs, with boulders, obstacles while offering strategic turn-based combat. This is a game that I have actually been anticipating for a while now, ever since it was first announced over on Reddit, or at the very least I was first made aware of it over on Reddit. This is going to be a game that looks and feels just like the JRPGs of old did but you know, in like a, a more compact game, which honestly sounds like a win to me. It's also available on PC, Android, and iOS. ReZero Witch's Resurrection is another gotcha game set within the world of the ReZero intellectual property. What we know currently is that it is a 3D RPG announced by Karakawa. It is slated to be released onto Android and iOS. It does not seem to, at the very least at present, feature a PC iteration. You'll be able to explore the kingdom of Lagunica as you battle alongside popular characters from the series, which you've no doubt done before in plenty of other games. Pre-registration is already open, with test phases expected very soon prior to its release, which is confirmed for summer 2024. So release should be approximately around August or September. Before we discuss the remainder of Gotcha Games releasing. Allow me to thank my incredible patrons over on Patreon and my YouTube channel members. Your guys' support is why I can continue to make videos like this every single month that I deeply appreciate y'all being there for me. Earlier this year, Wizard Revariant's Daphne was delayed. Indefinitely. You know what that means. There was absolutely no hope for the game to release at any point in the near future. That all changed recently when they confirmed that not only would the game be releasing in Japan in October 2024, in theory, anyway, this has <laughs> suffered repeated setbacks up until this point, but pre-registration for the game would also be opening on August 15th, this is a couple weeks from now, with a development roadmap and possible beta tests coming in the next month or two, given how soon it's releasing anyway, which sounds great. This is a very JRPG-ish game and I cannot wait to test it out and play it personally myself. Hopefully, you know, in August or September or at the very least this year. Come on, you can't mess this up again. You can't get, you don't delay it again, man. Just release the game, we want it. Madoka Magica Magia Etc. is a gacha game based on the already existing anime releasing globally onto PC via Steam and mobile. I haven't seen any test phase held from the game yet, but I mean, maybe there was and I just wasn't made aware of it, which, you know, honestly is a little bit concerning as we are very fast approaching their release. Etc. takes you into the world of Madoka Magica, which I'm sure you're all very familiar with. The game is fully recreated in 3D, 
magical girls from throughout the series are going to appear with stories from the anime and other mobile game which you no doubt have no idea even exists otherwise they wouldn't be making this game pre registration is currently available and the beta tests were speculated to be held in august maybe september before fully releasing within the next couple months once again in theory do you want to obtain up to 1000 summons absolutely free have you ever wanted to form very deep bonds with unique cat girl reactions like tris here telling us not to touch your inner super special place <laughs> the reason i ask is cat fantasy a cyberpunk themed anime rpg centered around pounding enemy pussy has entered pre-registration. They're anticipating 1 million players, despite receiving 100 <laughs> likes on their tweet, which admittedly is a little bit concerning to see. There's definitely no release date yet, but the game is expected to launch in 2024 with a global beta being held very soon, potentially in August, if not, September at the latest. Nornium was supposed to hold a public test phase via Steam on July 27th, but according to a tweet that was just made recently, this has been delayed due to their lack of experience publishing a game onto the Steam platform. With this in mind, the test phase has been pushed back, likely a few weeks into August. Nornium is described as being a mech-themed aerial combat action anime RPG developed by a very small studio, yet is also simultaneously one of, if not the most degenerate gacha game that you will ever see developed and published, especially onto Steam. The game will be playable via both PC, Android, and iOS, which is good news for those of us that play these games with only one hand. Noctilution Before Dawn is an interesting game that I'm sure will most definitely appeal to players of a certain <laughs> demographic. According to a tweet made, the devs are holding a closed beta beginning on August 20th. The most interesting aspect of this beta is the fact that it is supposedly for Chinese players only, but the tweet, the website, everything is in English and the game fully supports English localization. Similarly to Reverse 1999, I guess. It's unusual, but hey, I'm all for it. I'm curious if they're still going to be able to meet their 2024 release deadline though. And finally, Ash Echoes, a tactical anime RPG that released in China earlier this year and is targeting both a global and a Southeast Asian release this year. And Dairy. The game has already launched in China as I addressed, which means we tactically know what kind of game this is. And for those of you that don't know what kind of game this is, Due to it being released in China, you can just go and Google gameplay and see if it's something you're interested in. However, pre-registration is currently open for the C region at present with tests and a release hopefully very close. And that is everything. There is a lot to be excited for and there are some games that we're going to 100% unequivocally want to pass on. But hopefully the coming month, August, provides you something to have some fun in. Or maybe you're still playing Wuthering Waves. Maybe you're still playing Zenless Zone Zero. Maybe you're playing Solo Leveling Arise or Honkai Star Rail Genshin Impact. Who knows? As long as you are having fun playing gacha games. At the end of the day, that is all that matters. But even though we actively enjoy the gacha games that we play, that isn't gonna stop us from wanting to try something new, right? And here you go. There are like eight, I don't know, 10 games that you could potentially try some betas, some full release, and you know, some you can just pre-register for. Either way, if you're not interested in any of these games, absolutely no problem. I got you covered with two different videos on screen right now that might be more up your alley.